Hey YouTube beginners, this is Kathy Cat, and today we're going to talk about what kind of stuff you need to pack when you're climbing up Mount Fuji. Mount Fuji is the highest mountain in Japan and even though you might have learned about a lot of people who made it up easily and it was so easy, that might not be the same for you because obviously the weather in a mountain will always be changing and you cannot predict it. So you need to be prepared for everything. And that's what I learned the last couple of times I tried to climb up Mount Fuji. So there are a couple of items you definitely need to have. Do not go up in fancy clothing. As much as I love them, I'm not wearing fancy clothing when I'm climbing up Mount Fuji. And uh, make sure you have the right foot gear as well. You need proper, proper hiking shoes. That's number one for you before you think of anything else. So with all the other things, I was split into three categories. One is clothes, one is general safety and necessary things, and one is food. So let's start off with what clothes you need to wear. Right now we have 36, 37 degrees in Japan, but we're up on Mount Fuji on the way up on Mount Fuji is going to be 8 degrees or 0 degrees or even minus 1 degree. So what you need are good thermals, um, good thermal clothes that will keep you warm and that will let your skin breathe if you get hot. So I have a pair of thermals here over that. I'm going to wear shorts uh, because I burn very easily. On top of that, I'm going to layer it up with airism, which is a material again that is very cool and lets your skin breathe. Uh, when you're climbing up in the heat but at the same time it protects you from UV rays and that's what you like to do because UV rays are very very strong on that mountain as well. Furthermore I will be bringing a vest which again uh, will keep me warm but has my sleep my arms out so that should be keeping me cool. At the same time once it gets to night it will be getting cold so this one here is a little roll with ultralight down this contains a little down jacket that I can then wear to keep myself warm you also need a proper backpack Ugh. you'll also be needing a proper backpack uh, with pockets so you can easily put things out my hint would be your rain gear needs to be somewhere right on top a it will protect the club the stuff under it and b if it suddenly starts raining you need to quickly get it out and put it on that's what all the guides will tell you as well your rain gear needs to be somewhere on top where you can quickly and easily take it out your backpack should be tying somewhere here at the front, again, to take the weight off your back because you'll be carrying all this stuff up a mountain. Furthermore, you do, 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 do need proper rain gear. The very first time I went up Mount Fuji, one of our group members had cheap rain gear and it started pouring. It was incredible. The rain seemed to be coming from everywhere. And at that point, you needed to have proper, proper rain gear. Uh, so I actually invested in proper nice rain gear this time, uh, which uh, is super safe and has survived the second time I went up there because it started pouring again. And that's another reason why we couldn't go all the way up to the top. So rain is your biggest enemy, uh, together with obviously all the other natural elements that are going to make it really hard for you to go up that mountain. Uh, I'll also be bringing a fleece again to keep me warm, very very light and obviously easy to dry as well. You want something that dries quickly. I'm sitting on this sockwise. Uh, thick walking socks are good and if you are worried about maybe um, like walking too much and getting blisters what I read is that if you wear a thin pair of socks underneath and then layer it up with a thick pair it should avoid blisters if you're still worried about that maybe take a little tub of Vaseline with you again that helps against blisters before you get them and after you be getting them so that's uh, a thing and obviously skin wise it's nice to have a little tiny pack of Vaseline with you just in case anything is happening get a little scratch or something because you will be getting scratched which is another reason why you need these gloves. Uh, the higher you go up on Mount Fuji, uh, you will be less and less able to walk on both feet. You will be needing your hands to sometimes hold on to stuff to get up. So you need some proper gloves. My advice is bring two pairs of gloves because one time it was pouring and they got soaked and that made me go so cold. So at the same time you need two gloves in case something happens. So that's clothes wise. Let's move into the safety and other necessary things that you'll be needing. A uh, walking stick is something I'm getting this time just because if you go down the mountain it's nice to have something you can put in front of you. Like obviously if you go up it's nice to have something uh, to, for you as well to give you that extra support. Uh, I bought this one now. You can also when you go up Mount Fuji get walking sticks uh, that are wooden and on every stop they will, uh, for 500 yen, they will burn the number of the stop that you made it to already. I've got those uh, but because I didn't make it right onto the top I left it at home now because they are actually quite heavy and a bit cluttery and this time I just really want to climb up this mountain. 
So the next thing is, if you have weak knees, and I know loads of people do, especially if you've been dancing, you need some kind of knee protection. I'm always going to bring some knee protection. This was also good. Sometimes you need to quickly kneel down and grab stuff out of your backpack. Uh, and it's nice to have that little bit of cushioning there as well. Uh, I will be doing a night tour, which means at three o'clock, four o'clock at night, we will be climbing the last part up and then see if we can see the sunset. So for that one, you need a light, but do not press bring a light, like a torch, because you'll need your hand to climb. So you need a little headlight that you have up here. I know it's not cool, it's not flashy, but Haha, <laughs> see what I did there? But uh, you definitely need a headlight so you have your hands free for your stick or for climbing. Don't forget the batteries as well. Furthermore, I will be staying in the hut overnight. So, because you'll be sleeping head to head with absolute strangers, it is not even separated by gender. Uh, there will be people who are snoring, which was last year, so maybe bring some earplugs. And there might be light on, uh, because some people keep moving around in the middle of the night, even though you only have three hours of sleep. So if you go off one of those tools, be sure to also maybe have something to cover your eyes, because otherwise people will wake up. They will wake you up. Other necessary things. Let's go through this. You, uh, it's always good to bring some oxygen with you because many people do get mountain sickness when they climb up Mount Fuji. I've seen it with the last two years. It happens. So bring one of those. Uh, try to go without if you want to, but I definitely have one with you just in case, especially the higher you go up. Then again, bring water. Now that's uh, an obvious one, but the higher you go up in Mount Fuji, water will be charging more and more and more. I think it goes up to 600 yen, 700 yen per bottle of water. Obviously, sooner or later you will be paying for it, but it's good to bring one with you. Uh, I'll bring a second drink just for my journey to Mount Fuji, but I'll leave it there. And then I have a, um, a hydration water, which means it also contains salts and minerals that help you um, work against dehydration um, but I'm probably gonna only walk this year up with two bottles because I can't carry so much this time then the mountain sun will be very very strong so you need a hat which actually I should have said to see in the cloth section here you need a proper hat and you need sunscreen I burn very easily because I have ginger in my family so I will be constantly topping up because I burn so quickly it's definitely necessary then obviously if you wear glasses definitely bring glasses if i know one thing i need to tell you if you want to wear contacts the higher you go up the less and less you're likely to be able to use water so if you need water to wash your hands you might be in trouble with your contacts that's why i'm going with glasses this year up on the mountain literally you can't use water anymore um, it, even like flushing the toilet it's a pain also what i'm bringing i'm bringing painkillers in this little one here just a sachet with painkillers uh, some some wound some like wound cream uh, in case something happens uh, some magnesium in case anyone gets a cramp so that's um, in my little sachet here furthermore I don't want to be smelly I have a tiny deodorant with me because um, obviously we will get smelly so that's that's the thing you don't necessarily need that's just a personal thing I don't like being smelly so that's a because obviously you can't go up and take a shower there there's just no chance to do that there isn't even like facilities for that Mentioning that, because I mentioned water so shortage, washing your hands will be getting hot, more difficult the higher you go up, so I'll definitely bring some hand disinfectant with you when you want to use the bathrooms. Furthermore, also, uh, I'm going to bring a spare battery, because I will probably be taking pictures and videos when I go up Mount Fuji, and if you want to do that, then that's uh, another item you are definitely going to bring with you. Uh, I'm going to bring some chewing gum again. Brushing your teeth will be hard when you go up the mountain, so if you have some chewing gum that also cleans your teeth, that's good, keeps your breath fresh. And one of the most important things is in this little pouch is the most important stuff for me. Uh, it has a copy of my insurance and it has a copy of my ID, for example, my guiding card, which I would need. So that has uh, me covered for that. Also in there are loads and loads and loads of 100 yen coins because once you go up, you will be charged for the toilet. Yes, you will be. So for the toilets, because they're charging quite a lot, uh, you will need loads and loads of 100 yen coins for the doors to open. And also some tissues, which you'll need, don't forget that. 
Um, also, people what I've seen bring are face masks, the Japanese face masks, because sometimes in summer it's very dry and all the dust from the mountain or well, it's an ex volcano, uh, might you know come to your face and you might like breathe that in. So if you want to bring a face mask, do that. But uh, what my experience is, it's really hard to breathe with the face mask on, and it made it a bit harder for me to climb. So that's why I'm not bringing it this year. Now. Food-wise, we're going to the snack section, which is obviously the funnest looking one, but I'm bringing uh, some salty snacks. These ones here are Ibisenda because they're very light and I have salt and they give me a bit of a kick. Um, this one here is an energy bar, uh, which is chocolate energy bar because you need in between a little bit of a sugar kick. Um, this one here is Konyaku. It's low in calories, but it's just something light to um, to drink and eat on your way. It's like a mixture between. Umeboshi, and uh, this one is not if for everyone's taste. These are very, very sour plums, but the good thing is they help you protect yourself a little bit against getting a heat stroke. Uh, they have like a con the right mix of salts uh, and sourness in it that's uh, supposed to help you. So it's not something nice to snack on while you're there. And then they have uh, these bars. Uh, there's a brand called the Calorie Mate. This is not the brand one, but Calorie Mate, all these kind of candies or biscuits are actually very very high in calories and you need a little bit of calories to keep you going so these ones for one little stick which looks a little bit like um, like a butter cookie it's about 100 calories per stick and then these ones again are good to take with you on your journey i think that's everything i have covered but you definitely need to also bring some empty plastic bags because you cannot throw any garbage away there. The rule of Mount Fuji is all the garbage that goes up goes also down with you. So whatever waste you have, you need to carry back down with you. Very, 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 very important. They stress that many, many times, obviously. Uh, they wanna keep uh, everything clean. So be sure to, you have to make, bring something that you can bring your um, rubbish back down with you. And those are the items I'll be taking up Mount Fuji. And if you would, Plan to go up Mount Fuji and you're like oh I think I don't need this or that that's totally up to you but do not underestimate Mount, Mount Fuji I cannot repeat that enough we had a couple of very very tough situations where our guide said look I cannot get you back down safely if I bring you back up now we need to go back and they said generally the average is if they go there with the tour 50 50 50 percent of the tours make it 50 percent of the tours do not make it especially the ones where you're climbing at night because obviously if the if the vision uh, is bad it's even harder to get a whole group up on the tallest mountain of japan so guys be safe i uh, hope this helped you to pack for your journey of climbing up mount fuji like i said one more time do not underestimate that mountain i know it is beautiful but do not underestimate mount fuji otherwise you might regret it stay safe and if you feel like you're getting uh, sickness or if you're not well do not push yourself the mountain will still be there for many 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 years to come so if you don't make it up this year give it another go next year if you feel like doing that so i hope this helped you let me know what you think and this is a challenge of your life but don't risk your life okay that's very very important Thank you very much for watching. If you're interested about more stuff in Japan, um, there will be more videos on the top right of the screen. And if you're new to my channel, it would be nice if you could subscribe and be part of my Tokyo Kittens. I hope you enjoyed this. I know this was fairly serious, but I think this is a very serious topic and I wanted to uh, let you all know how to make it safe up on Fuji. So have a lovely day. Love you lots. Do what you love. Love what you do. Stay safe. I'll catch you soon. Bye.